And now for our feature presentation. Chippendale Rescue Rangers comes out tomorrow and honestly I'm hyped, mostly because it feels like it's going to be the best live action slash animation hybrid since Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit is the godfather of this genre and it seems like this movie will take place in the same universe as Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Dancing the Roger Rabbit with Roger Rabbit! <laughs> <laughs> to keep me preoccupied until the movie comes out, I want to share my thoughts on Who Framed Roger Rabbit. For those of you who don't know, who Framed Roger Rabbit is a mystery film that takes place in a 1947 version of Hollywood where cartoon characters and humans exist. Eddie is a private investigator who must help Roger Rabbit who has been framed for murder. Now this movie came out in 1988, four decades ago, and for most of the movie the animation mixed in with the real life setting still holds up shockingly well. It feels like this world is real. The late Bob Hoskins who plays Eddie did an amazing job interacting with the characters. Whenever he holds or touches a tune it feels so seamless and has weight to it. And it's a visual treat seeing these very different elements mix well. With Alvin and the Chipmunks, every now and then they will be on Dave, but for the most part they're always standing still when humans are talking to them. I was always more of an Alvin and the Chipmunks person. You monster. In this movie, it doesn't feel like there's any limits. Eddie throws Roger around, characters interact with real world objects, it's just so natural. An underappreciated element of this movie is how much of a family film it is, and how it can be for anyone, especially people who are tired of cartoons. For all the adults wanting something intriguing and a little edgy, we have our main character, Eddie, whose brother died after getting a piano dropped on him, and he turns to the bottle, causing him to be grouchy and really hating tunes around him. And I think it fits really well with anyone who is just sick and tired of watching cartoons, like enough of that Dora the Explorer shit. Now for the kids, it's a lot of fun. You got tons of cartoon characters walking around. Your kid will go, oh look, there's, there's, uh, uh, there's Yosemite, uh, Sammy guy. Warner Brothers and Disney finally collide. They finally call out Donald Duck on his speech impediment. Like, no one knows what this guy is saying. Does anybody understand what this duck is saying? And Roger Rabbit is somewhat annoying like a little cousin, but you still love him. But also there's a story I think kids can appreciate because it surrounds all of these cartoon elements that they have grown up with. All of these kids that watch this movie are really going to enjoy watching these tunes interact with real life things. I also really love Roger Rabbit's design. His physique is obviously like a Warner Brothers cartoon, and his clothes are like something Mickey Mouse would wear. And this movie gives me hope. Not in the way of like, I can be the best YouTuber that no one ever was, but in a way that lets me know that I can get any girl I want. Roger Rabbit is this big doofus who can score a smoking hot babe like Jessica, then I definitely have a chance with Emma Stone. I. I love you so much, Emma. Oh yeah, and speaking of Jessica Rabbit, she has one of my favorite lines in any movie. I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. <laughs> it's just like my life! <laughs> In a way. Who Framed Roger Rabbit is an intriguing mystery that flawlessly mixes the imaginative world of animation and the more gritty and dark aspects of real life. You get the best of both worlds with this movie. <laughs> Yeah, the bee, the bee, the bee, the bee, but that's all, folks. 